Like other game developers, I believe my story is also a great open world RPG video game. This game will contain drama, thriller, action, suspense, emotions and many more. As a beginner game developer, I also have the same problem. Where to start? What makes a game a good game? How to make the game more appealing? What character to choose? And how my character will be look like? Which game engine should I use? I spend lot of time in exploring software like game engine, animation studio, sounds, lighting, environments and what not. Like other aspiring game developers, I land up spending days and months to determine where to start and how my game will be look like at the beginning. Though the time were well spent in gathering some valuable information, after some months I realized I am standing at the same place where I had started. Finally, here is my initial learning about the start and the basic understanding of the game design and development. The foundation of any game development is standing on three pillars. Player, communication and appealing. A player is the main driver of the game and the game will take the player through an experience. A player could be first person, third person or camera only for cinematography. Now, what is the experience? What exactly a player seek from a game? Or what is player task to do in the game? An experience is something which is either can be anticipated or become a surprise. Sometime in a game it is obvious that something will happen. If it turns to be a negative then it comes as a surprise. To make it interesting for the player it is important to plot the game scene. Not always an obvious or predictive one. That means a player will always need to have a purpose to progress the game. If the player doesn't see the any difference in the game, then it will be just become a completing task for the player, which might lead player to get bored and scrap the game without finishing it. Some players always wants to finish the main story to beat the game in a speedrun mode. Some players enjoy a lot of things in the game like ambience, detailing, hidden or side stories, customizations of characters or customizations of artifacts, meshes. They always spend time on collectibles, etc. All such things are valued to a good experience. Let's say in a scene there is a player and a house. The game task is for the player to go into the house. To go into the house, player needs to find the door. Once the door is open, player can enter. Now question is how the game will tell the player about the task or how the game will communicate to the player to perform the task. Hence the second pillar comes in the picture and it is communication. Now what is communication? Communication system is a method to interact with the player to convey the goal or let the player know there is some props or use the environment to achieve the stage or task. Where's the ladder? It's gotta be around here somewhere. In the previous example we have seen player needs to go to the house and find the door. This can be communicated by giving a printed text on the screen or could be a companion character telling a story to the player to get something from the house and the house is located some corner of the environment. No ladder here. Check that back area. Once player reaches to the house, say player need to find the door and then find the keys to open the door. That means game needs to tell the player to find the door and the key to open the door. This indicates continuous communication to the player are being made to stay in the game. Communication system could be a mini map or a prompted dialogue about the decision player made or could be uncertain AI attack to redirect player's route. Well, there's that exposed beam underneath. Oh, you think you can rope it? Do I think I can rope it? <laughs> Watch this. I'm watching. 
I, uh, I missed. <laughs> uh, see, it's, uh, it's all in the wrist. Here, let me see. Ah, see? Yeah, it's not bad. For a second attempt. Here we go. Okay, here we go. <laughs> First try. All right, no one likes a show off. Okay, come on, Nathan. It looks like you can uh, climb down and make your way over. Right behind you. A communication system could be a pop-up or suggestions or multiple choice questions to decide alternate option. For example, in Assassin's Creed, there are multiple choices given for the player to drive the game or to change the direction. In short, a communication system is a process for the player to compel to drive the game in a correct direction. Give me a measure of time. Are you a spirit of darkness? If it be not so, come back and try anew. What are these things he's asking me? There must be trinkets around his house that will help. That should be the last one. Back to the druid. Communication system could be a sound effect to guide the player or prepare the player in advance. Sound effect could be a voice communication which let player understand the path in advance. A good communication process is to make player feel as a part of the world. But if environment doesn't comply with the communication made by the game, then it becomes pointless. For example, player's task is to go inside the house. But there were no house or house is completely broken or player could not find the door. In such case, player will deviate from the game objective. Therefore, game designer need to find out an alternate communication for the player to stay in the objective. Such as, the house is locked from everywhere, but from the roof, player can go inside the house. Now, how the player will know about the access of the house? Some game used voice narration to let player know about the access or a hint printed on the screen. Shit. Board it up. I gotta find another way in. Maybe there's a way in. Honestly, at the end, it is player's choice to follow the objectives. If not followed, the game will not progress further. In such scenario, the third pillar of the foundation comes to play, which is appealing, which is purely visual impact to the player to perform the task. While a communication system is a good process to make player feel to be part of it, but without an appeal, it is again boring or monotonous. An appeal is a visual or sensible experience which add on to the communication system, such as earthquake effect vibration to the controller or Perfect parry gives a fire strike. Punching can be fun, but when camera shakes on the impact, it's even fun. Such appeals draws player attentions and concentration to the game and make it motivated and engaged. An appeal is not effective if the environment does not complement the effect. An appeal could be stunning graphics or an interaction with an AI or NPC, which makes player to carry on. Example, companion gives a gift or player collects some kind of an armor wearing that armor there are some special effects happen. An apple could be a puzzle like in Spider-Man or opening door in Uncharted but too much such apple sometimes becomes boring. An apple could be a charged up animation for the player to anticipate what is coming. Something like dead eye, slow motions etc. In Ghost of Tsushima, we have seen like when player enters into the ghost mode, the red color of the environment comes in the picture. That creates good appealing environment. Minute details are also considered as an apple. For example, shooting on the wall, a bullet hole should appear. Walking on the mud creates the footstep. Such apple creates player's expectation. In the previous example, if player couldn't find the door, a ladder needs to be placed near the house or somewhere to make a communication to the player about the rooftop access. But the ladder should be a ladder, not a chair. 
In a nutshell, an appealing is a visual effect which keeps player engaged toward the game direction which is communicated by the communication system and player who is the one who drives the game. All the games are built on three foundation pillars which are complementing each other. Without one of the pillar, the game is not a game. So those pillars are player who is the main driver, communication let player know what to do, appealing is a factor which let player stick to the communicated task. That's all from this video. In the next one, I will explore more consideration to be made to make my game. Please comment your opinion. Thank you for watching.